Coming up on 8.13 with Steve and Ted here on KNSS. And as we do at this time every Wednesday morning, it's time for Wednesdays with Wagle. Dr. Jason Wagle with Kansas Perio and Dental Implants. Good morning, Dr. Wagle. Good morning, Chad. Good to have you here on this hot Wednesday. Let's uh, get into it. What are periodontal pockets? Um, When gums are healthy, they fit securely around the teeth. Think of a turtleneck sweater fitting properly around someone's neck. Mm -hmm. You know, when the gums start to pull away from the teeth, the space between the gums and the teeth get bigger and deeper. These are periodontal pockets. All right. How do you measure those pockets? Pocket depths are measured in millimeters during a process called periodontal probing or charting. One millimeter is about the thickness of a credit card. Pockets of one to three millimeters are usually not a concern. Okay, but I assume they get bigger and then deeper, and that's where the problems come. Yes. When periodontal probing in the dental office reveals deeper pockets, it's a sign that harmful bacteria are accumulating below the gum line. Over time, the gums pull away from the teeth, causing inflammation and swelling. These bacteria attack not only the gums, but also the supporting bone. All right. So what if uh, those pockets don't get treated? What, What then? Without treatment, the bacteria continue to multiply and the pockets get deeper. The result can be serious gum disease and possible tooth loss. All right. We don't want that. So is this something that people notice that's going on? No, that's the tricky part of it. It's not not right away. Periodontal disease is called a silent disease because it occurs below the gum line, and most people have little or no discomfort of the disease until it reaches an advanced stage. All right. Well, how do you treat those periodontal pockets? At Kansas Perio, we reduce the pockets and um, help control the disease through something called deep cleanings or, depending on the severity of the case, periodontal surgery. We can get excellent results, but early diagnosis and treatment are very important. All right. So if if we want to avoid this, how do you avoid having to have those treatments for pockets and gum disease? How can we prevent it? Exactly. Exactly. The best way is through prevention. Brush your teeth at least twice a day and floss. See your dentist twice a year and have a comprehensive periodontal exam once a year. If you have gum disease, see your periodontist as directed. Proper prevention can help avoid deep pockets and maintain good oral health. Good information. Dr. Wagle, stay cool today, all right? You got it. Thank you. All right. Thanks Thanks for checking in with us. That's Wednesdays with Wagle, sponsored by Kansas Perio and Dental Implants. When it's time to get serious about your smile, go to kansasperio.com. Wednesdays with Wagle. Thank you, doctor. It is 815 with Steve and Ted here on KNSS.